Good morning. Morning card thoughts number um, eight, I think. Eight. I don't know. Um, so I'm on my way to go do a medical thing. Um, here, let me take these off. Um, I go back to work on Saturday and I work for seven days straight. So you may not see a lot of me. I know you haven't seen a lot of me lately. My son's been sick. He's got an appointment with a GI specialist to figure out what's going on with his, with his tummy. Anyway, um, hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you have a wonderful Thursday and a great Friday and a wonderful weekend where, you know, like I said, I'll be at work starting Saturday. Um, I've seen some really sweet comments and I appreciate them so much, you guys. Um, I do have that buy me a coffee if you want to, you know, help out. Um, but no pressure. It's good. Uh, I'm still going to be doing this. I'm still going to be doing it because I know it's not, you know, so I have a real job. I don't expect YouTube to pay and um, I haven't grown my channel fast enough to even get monetized. And given the things I talk about, I doubt that that will ever happen. So, um, we've had a lot of rain these last couple days and I've been trying to figure out what I want to talk to you guys about. Um, you know, I live in South Carolina. Nikki Haley was our governor and she lost our state, which is not surprising. And let me be honest with you guys, okay? Um, in 2016, I voted third party, okay? 2020, I voted third party, okay? 2024, I will be voting for Trump. I, there's no way around it. There's no other option. Um, I wasn't like... You know, I wasn't deranged about it. I just thought that we could do better. I thought there was a better candidate. I even campaigned for Dr. Ben Carson back in 2016. Um, but in good conscience, then, I don't I don't think that I could do that. But this year, my conscience is fully clear. And looking at everything that's going, going on, I really like DeSantis because of what he did for kids in Florida with this gender ideology nonsense. Um, I really thought that he could do a good thing for America, like he did for Florida. Um, but that was just where my mind was. You know, I was never rapidly uh, committed to any candidate, but now I will be voting for Trump. There is no alternative. Um, Biden can't finish a sentence. He doesn't know where he's at half the time. He doesn't know how to get off the stage. He can't walk on a bicycle. Um, I just don't, I don't see how we can survive another four years of Biden. I'm, I'm surprised that we're still standing and I don't really, um, expect that we can stand much longer um with the chaos that we have in america right now so i will be voting for trump with no hesitation at all um but like i said i was never you know really really a stark raving um oh you know i hate trump no i was never never like that i just um i just thought we had better options is all um but right now we have no other options there's nobody else that can do it. Absolutely nobody. And I got to say that if you care at all about America, <laughs> if you have any loyalty to your country, if you care about our future, if you care about our children, and if you care about saving this great republic, it's not a democracy. Anyway, um, if you want to save our constitutional republic, which protects the rights of the individual over the rule of the majority, um, you have to vote for Trump. You have to. There's, there's no, there is no other choice. There's not. Biden is a fool and America looks stupid and weak all across this, this planet right now. We are a, we are a laughing stock. This is not the America my grandfather fought at the Battle of the Bulge for in World War II. You know, back when men were men and were strong and were willing to do what it took to protect their home and their families. I'm so glad I found, I'm so glad I found one of those old, old school, old fashioned men because he loves me more than life. He loves our children more than life. He's destroying his body to provide a life and security for this family that we've made. And I honor and respect him every day for that women you need to get it together there are a few good men left out there but when you're putting everything you have out on the internet and you think it doesn't matter it matters watching kids get bullied and humiliated because their moms do only fans that's mm, 
that's sick, man. That's sick. All right. Let me get on to get this medical stuff done. I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Peace out and have a great weekend. And I probably will see you tomorrow. Peace.